Oh, this is gonna be fun. Piece of shit pickup truck. I guess so. Oh, this one next to me. Sweet! That's a little easier. Get a hills location. Yeah, they did. Really? The guy came and got it. He paid a whole bunch of money on his registration and okay. paid all his fees and came and got it. We were happy. So we didn't have to do with all the trash. Yeah, I'm just gonna scoot it out and then throw it up. <laughs> yeah, I, I see all that traffic. Uh, you know, people can't drive, they can't figure it out. Yeah, I know, but I gotta keep it safe. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, who's gonna tell my cars for me? Right? Well, this one will be easy compared to that one, but he didn't come for it. Wow. Yeah, he came yeah, for it. He had quite a bit of, uh, yeah, we were happy. We were happy. We didn't have to do all that. I guess it was uh, it was a dump truck actually. The whole back end lifted up. You never know. I mean, that's the thing. You're absolutely right. The stuff I can tell you, I think that'll go to junk. They'll come and pick up. Yeah, there's lots of stuff I see where it's like I don't think they're coming for it. You know, but I've also, you know, I've been doing it long enough where I've just kind of got a good judge on it. It's like, yeah, they're not coming to get that. There's no, it's the same way as trying to determine if the car's abandoned or not. Yeah. I can show you some old bus stuff, looking down, thinking, okay, they dumped it. Lo and behold, they moved it. If it's worth it enough to somebody, they will come and get it. Oh, yeah. This one's hilarious. I towed it back in September. I decided to use for expired red. So he got his registration. I towed it back in September. He got a rip. Never took care of the wrench. I was going to say, how do you get it out without taking care of the wrench? The rip. Which you'll probably do with this, and that's fine. It's beyond it. us. I mean, he can play oh, the game. Like I said, he can get a one-day mover. I don't care. 
Yeah, you still, well, I mean, in order to get the one day, you still have to go pay DMV, because DMV won't get those out until saying, you catch up. You think you keep putting it out on the street? Yeah, I've seen some cities where they'll take it out. I've seen some cities where they'll take it out of your driveway. Oh, well, I'm not that into it. I'm too <laughs> Garden old. Grove was like that. I'm too old for that, man. I think it came down to they got a bunch of complaints too, and they were just doing something about like I said, it. I just take them off this. Yep. All right, I'll grab two other hooks. Yeah, I was just over at 90 Vantis. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, this is the same area, I guess. Yeah. But uh, that guy didn't have no money. He was blocking somebody's driveway. Tweaker special. And then, uh, boiling out to it's like, well, this ain't gonna work for me one bit. I'll pull him out of the way and throw him on the street in the fire lane. And you guys can decide what you want to do with it at that point. No, no, that's okay. You're coming out. I, I think I'm gonna keep you busy. All right. Well, I looked at that one, I'm like, hey, no way he's coming for this if we impound it. He just blew the engine on. It's not worth it to him. Uh, like I said, I don't, I don't mind. I, no. try, I try to keep all my tow guys busy. Yeah, we stay busy. Oh, I do you guys now and uh, CHP. CHP's oh, been okay. keeping yeah, me busy, busy too, so. drive forward, straighten it up. Believe me, I'm watching them. in front of this suburban here to get out of the way. Yeah, I'm gonna pull over to the side a little bit. Got 
those some straps on the front and then we're out of here. Debating on this one, I might just do uh, actual straps. to start doing the two snatch block thing just because it helps guide the cable you can see the cable's still a little off kilter but not as bad as it would have been with just the one snatch block on the end if i was pulling from that side and only that side with the one snatch block it would all be on the left side of the, the drum which is not good for the cable you know, one part's going to be getting this thing off it's a prius you can't really put these in neutral so it's more of gonna be a shakedown and debating on it or drop it outside and just put a hook to the back of it all right Lisa Miguel we can take this up and around and this goes back towards La Paz well, one times let's go Because it comes right out to uh, comes right out to Oso over here, right next to the Target. Yeah, I remember this neighborhood going through here a bunch of times doing Instacart when I'd pick up orders at this uh, Stater Brothers here. A lot of times it'd take me into this neighborhood or across the way into the, the Ritzy community up there. So I just kind of left here, make a right on. Uh, Right on the pause. Or I could make a right here and just go up to Moulton that way. Uh, that probably would have been the better idea. Oh well. Alright guys, come back when I get back and get ready to drop this thing. Right, we're back. Back at the shop now. We've got it back around the building. This one's gonna go in a, another lot that's specifically for this contract. I'm going to back all the way around the front. Now you got to open that gate. You're going to kill nobody. Here. It's going to go around the left side of the building there. Gates are here for a reason. This one at least stays open. The other one, actually, this one seems to be a bit heavier. It's also tighter though on the, uh, the welding. I don't know, it snapped at least once. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do the soap shake on this. Let's use uh, dish detergent. Well, let's not uh, screw with this ram here. Well, I guess the trick here is just to kind of already be folks in the corner and hit that curb. Yep, there it goes. Watching the corner. It's a double wide width here, so I'm gonna put this one in front of the tundra. That's uh, the keeper. Uh, I'm just gonna drop it down for now, and then uh, configure out. Uh, 
later with the, one of the wheel lifts. second one is to keep the cable centered as you can see it's so I think what I'll do is I'll just let the car pull it out and I'll re-wrap it yeah I don't like this bird nesting going on here that needs some grease or something that one does it's really stiff this one's designed with a chain just so you can kind of run it across the deck this one's the directional one I got see which one's been used more. Well, this one works smoother. <laughs> Not going to throw those down. I guess somebody hooked that back onto the car. Use the car to pull it. it tends to work better out there. I'll rewrap it. Alright, so we're gonna do the dish soap method. I can do the oil one, but the problem with the oil is I have to clean it off the deck still. At least with the soap. It's uh It'll, it'll clean easy. All right. You watch, there it goes. As slick as the oil makes it, but there it is. Instead of oil, you soap, you just hit it with water and you're done. 
the oil stuff you kind of have to hit it with soap too so this is nothing more than Costco special thrown into an Ajax box. All right. All this. I'm gonna rewrap the whole the kit won't that whole run. Time consuming, but better for the better for the truck. So I would like it to pull out easily. Let's see how that looks. I can kind of fix whatever's right here on the end. I oh, know that looks beautiful. I'll leave that. All right. You see. I lost one of my uh, heavy gloves. That's okay, I only need the right one for this. I got more of these, I'll just have to pick open a new pair. These are a bit more resistant to cable pieces coming through my hands. So I'm putting tension. You gotta watch out with that when you're doing winch cables like this. It'll that right there that don't look great mm -hmm. grab my uh break over the bar i wasn't able to keep enough tension on it This point is, I'll wrap it a little bit by hand, just so I can move it. Yeah, there we go. That's it. Now what I'll do is pull it back. I'm not getting a great grip because of the. keeps it clean that way like I said it keeps it out of the way if I got to drive something up I'm not having to move cable it's just saving me a little bit of extra work later it's kind of working smarter not harder in a sense the old saying goes work smarter not harder also keeps my deck clean because it keeps everything up and out of the way and put away nicely that's kind of what I think on it I just like the way it looks. It looks clean. It looks neatly put away and tidied up. The soap will dry. It won't kill nobody. Like I said, I can hit that with water later. I need to put that back in. I hit that on something I was doing earlier. All right, she is where she is. I'll have to move it over some, but I'll do that with one of the wheel lifts later. Until then, you know, as what well it is. Inbound forms. Sorry, you guys can't see that stuff. 
one of the stipulations I can't show any of that kind of stuff on the videos as far as a bunch of videos I actually got I had to take down because I know at the time of those forms you can't that's it's not public information so you can't share it with the public like that it's privileged information so yeah all right I just got to close her up and then we're all good to go here all right guys thanks for watching this is the other side of towing here where it's not just a crash but you know enforcement stuff uh, I've showed you guys a few of the roadside stuff to me it's all boring it's all kind of mundane routine stuff that we do the crashes I think are the uh, you know the, the stuff that's interesting or entertaining and I, it's you know this is for content for entertaining hopefully somebody learns something from a few of the things I do I got a few tricks that no other people do and I do a few things differently and it's good to critique and kind of learn a few things you know I'm not perfect I make my share of mistakes too and do my share of things that uh, don't work out that I could do differently um, it's kind of hit or miss I've been to the training classes some of this stuff works and some of it doesn't and I think the reality is is you've got to learn yourself it's a good set of tools just to kind of give you an idea what might work but you're in the truck and in the end of the day it's your job to get the job done whichever way you got to do that without adding more damage to the vehicle if you can avoid it and getting it done efficiently quickly and safely all right guys thanks for watching please remember to comment like subscribe hit that like button down there it helps youtube get the videos out Throw a comment if you feel like it. If you're going to be a jackass troll in my comment section, I'll just block your ass. You can watch the videos, but you won't be able to comment anymore. So keep that in mind. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.